Okay, now I will show you the example. Okay, this is example one. Okay, design a synchronous counter to count the following sequence. Okay, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So based on this example, there are several steps. So the first step, you need to draw the tran transition state diagram. Okay, uh, and then you need to set up the excitation table. Uh, you need to find the J and K input. So J and K input is actually based on the J and K excitation table previously, which is 0x, 1x. Okay, and then the last step, you design the logic circuit. Okay, so for the last step, design the logic circuit, you must simplify your excitation table by using the K map. Okay. So the first step here is actually you need to draw the trans transition state diagram. Okay, that showing all the possible state. Okay, so this is the transition state diagram. Okay, uh, you just add the arrow showing you the state or the counting sequence. Okay, so zero, next is one, next is two, next is three, and then you continue to the next state which is zero, and it will continuously count. This is the transition state diagram. Okay, but most uh, the, the question that given to you is actually already in the state diagram. Okay, already in the transition state diagram. So you, you just can skip the step number one. Okay. <coughs> so you proceed with the step number two, which is the excitation table. Okay, so for excitation table, uh, you must uh, remember the format of excitation table. So your excitation table have three components. Okay, okay you have the value of present state, next state, and input J and K. So the value of present state, okay, is actually referring to uh, your transition state diagram. Okay. So how you can know the variable of your present state? Okay, meaning that. Uh, you need to use two variables a b or a b c or a b c d okay you need to refer your state diagram okay what is the largest number for your state diagram okay so based on this example the largest number here is three okay so three when you convert to binary you will get one one right three in binary is one one okay so meaning that you need to use at least two variables to represent three. So that's why for the present state, okay, you have uh, two variables A and B. Okay, because by using these two variables, okay, the largest value you will get three for decimal. Okay. So for present state, you have two parts. Okay, uh, the decimal value and also the binary value. Okay. So for decimal value, uh, you need to list down okay, based on the sequence. We need to start from the smaller number okay, and then end with the largest number. Okay, So that's why for this example, uh, you have present state decimal which is 0, 1, 2 and 3. And then this is the binary representation. Okay, so 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1 is 1, 1, 0 is 2, 1, 1 is 3. Okay, that is for the present state. And then for the next state value, okay, so next state value, you also have two variables. Okay, but you need to differentiate between the variable for present state and next state. That's why you just put the first row fee okay, for A and also B. Okay, this, this is actually not representing bar. Okay, the, the symbol here is not representing bar. It's just to, re, to differentiate between variable for present and next state. That's it. Okay. And then, uh, for input J and K. So, J and K, the, uh, the number of J and K is actually depends on the variable. So, if your variable have two variable, okay, so that's why you need to have two pair of J and K. Okay. So first pair for A, that's why you have J, A, K, A. And then another pair is for B, just J, B, K, B. Okay. If you have three variables, C, so you need to have another pair, which is J, C, K, C. And if you have D, so you need to have another pair, which is J, D, K, D. Okay. So for the value of next state, 
the value of next state is actually depends on your state diagram. Yeah, so you need to refer to the arrow. Okay, so the the value here. Okay, you may start with any number. So basically, we start with zero. Okay, so if you start with uh, the decimal zero, meaning that zero is your present state. So your present state is zero. So what is the next state for zero? So you need to refer to the next arrow. Okay, so the next arrow value is one. So that's why for present state zero, the next state value is one for decimal. Okay, and then one in binary is zero one. Okay, and then now your present state is one. Okay, so your present state is one. So what is your next state? So you refer to the arrow. This arrow. So your next state for one is two. So two. Two in binary is one zero. Okay, and then two is your present state. What is your next state? So next state for two is three. So three in binary is one one. And then now, your present state is 3. What is your next state for 3? So, next state for 3 is 0. Okay, so 0 in binary is 0, 0. So, that is for value for next state. You refer to your state diagram. Okay. Then next, input J and K. So, input J and K is actually, uh, you must remember the previous uh, Lesson, uh, previous explanation that I explained to you, which is the input J and K here, based on the JK excitation table. Okay, you need to compare between present state and next state value. Okay, and then because we have two variables, A and B, so you need to compare between, for example, uh, input J, J, A, K, A. Okay, you need to compare between present state A with next state A. For J, B, K, B, you need to compare between present state B with next state B. Okay. And then uh, you need to match with the input J and K. Okay, whether it's 0x, x0, 1x or x1. Okay, example for the first combination of uh, A. Okay, we start with A with the first arrow, with the first row. Present state A is 0, next state A is 0. So 0, 0. Okay, 0, 0. Okay, you will get 0x. So 0x. Okay, you must remember the transition from present state to the next state based on this table. Okay, what is the input of JK when present state 0, next state 0? You will get 0x. So second, 0, 1. Transition of 0 and 1 here. Yeah. Present state 0, next state 1. So the input is 1x. 1x. Okay, next, 1, 1. So 1, 1. So 1, 1, x0. So x0. Okay, and then lastly, 1, 0. So 1, 0. So 1, 0, the input of JK is x1. Okay. So this is for A. K, J, A, K, A. So for J, B, K, B, you need to compare between B, present state, and then B, next state. Okay. And of course, you need to use the same excitation table. Okay. Uh, so 0, 1. Okay. So 0, 1 is 1, X. Okay. 1, 0. So 1, 0. So 1, 0 is X, 1. Okay. Next, 0, 1. So 0, 1 is 1x okay, and then 1 0 is x 1 so this is how you find the input j and k yeah, you need to compare between present state and next state value for each variable okay, you must carefully compare between the, uh, the variable okay. So this is actually the explanation. Okay, how I get the 0x, 1x. Uh, so you get this value. Okay. So this is the excitation table. So complete for our first step. This is the excitation table. Okay. Next, design the logic circuits 
so designing the logic circuit is actually uh, involved two steps okay uh, simplify the excitation table and then lastly draw the uh, counter circuit okay. so you need to simplify the excitation table which is uh, you need to simplify each value of j and k okay so this this one so because for this excitation table you have four uh, J and K, K J A, K A J B, K B. You have four, so meaning that you need to have four K max okay. to simplify each J and K. Okay, you have four K max, and then you just map the value of J and K. Okay, so how to map the value of J and K on your K map? Okay, you need to refer to the present state. Okay, to find the cell okay, because now we have two uh, two part that have binary right present state also have binary next state also have binary okay, but for mapping okay, for mapping uh, purposes you need to refer to the present state okay. so we look at the uh, JA so this is your input for JN JA okay, and then this is your present state Okay, so uh, you need to find the, the cell for each value except 0 but in this example you also uh, map 0 so you can also map 0 but you uh, cannot take 0 as your value in your loop right okay. so mapping value 1 okay 1 okay so uh, where uh, which cell okay that you need to put your 1 Okay, so cell or one is cell number one or cell A bar and B. Okay, A bar and B. So here or cell number one. Okay, and then you need to map X also. Okay, the first X is cell number two. So here, and then last X is cell number three or A and B. Okay, and then of course the next step is you look. Okay, this one you must remember step uh, chapter 4 and you find the simplified equation okay so j a is equal to b okay this is the first k map or the first uh, value okay you continue for uh, k, k a j b and k b okay so in this uh, chapter you you can find another uh, Example of uh, K map that you can look all values in your K map. Okay, example for JB. Okay, because in this K map you have one one x x. Okay, so you can look all values. So that's why you get one as your simplified equation. Same goes with your KB. Okay, and our last step is actually draw the counter circuit. Okay, this is the synchronous counter circuit. Okay, so the first uh, step is actually you need to draw the basic uh, diagram for uh, synchronous counter circuit, which is the JK flip flop. Okay, based on the variable that you have in your circuit table. So if you have two variable A and B, so you need to have two uh, flip flop. Okay, one for A and then one for B. Okay. So this is the labeling that you must have in your J, K, flip flop. You must have J, K, Q, Q bar, set, clear or S, R. Okay, same goes with the flip flop for B. Okay, J, K, Q, Q bar, S, uh, S, clear or R and then triangle. So the triangle must be connected to the clock. Okay, both triangle must be connected to clock. And then Q. Okay, must be connected to each variable for the first uh, flip flop must be connected to A and then for the second Q must be connected to B okay, that is a basic diagram okay so the next part you just draw based on the expression you, that you get from your K map the expression that you get from your K map okay uh, so the previous uh, value that you get from your k-map which is uh, j a is equal to b k a is equal to b j 
B is equal to 1, KB is equal to 1. Okay? So, uh, you know that this Q line is representing B, right? Okay, and then this line is representing A. So, when your expression JA equal to B, so this is your JA. Okay, so you find line B, so this is B. So, you connect it to this line. Okay. So, same goes with your Ka. So, Ka is equal to B. So, this line also B. So, you just connect to the same line and then you just add pin dots. Okay. And then, JB is equal to 1. Okay. This is JB 1. So, you just put value 1. Okay. KB also equal to 1. Okay. You get 1. Okay. So, just a simple uh, example okay, for the first example. So this is how you draw your synchronous counter circuit.